Hey guys, guess what time it is? It's Saturday morning premiere time. Chugga chugga choo choo. I decided to get out my like one ounce rounds and like go through them. So I have like four of these boxes. They hold about 60, but some of them hold a little, little bit more. So what's that? 240 ounces. And most of them are different. So I thought I'd share them with you today. Because, you know, I like to collect just like one of everything. A couple of them I have too because I just really like them. So where should we start? I think we'll start in the one ounce rounds that remind me of coins. <laughs> These ones all kind of remind me of coins. Like flowing hair. Flowing hair coins. But yeah, these ones are all kind of like have different like coin representation on them. Oh, that's not a coin. How'd that get in there? <laughs> Purple punch. The high the Highland mint. <laughs> These ones, let's see, like, those ones kind of look like walkers. Like, those two are the same, but one's, like, toned and one isn't. And most of these, I'm pretty sure most of these are, are would be considered vintage. This is, like, the Liberty Lobbity. Liberty Lobbity, and then, like, the Statue of Liberty. That reminds me, oh, there's another Liberty Lobbity. Liberty Lobby. Kind of looks like a quarter. And my cat just came up here. This one kind of reminds me of like a commemorative. But these are all just one ounce silver. I mean a lot of people would consider them generic. But I consider them kind of collectible. Just because they're old. It's not like they're not like you know the ones that they mass produce nowadays. Like the buffaloes or something. This one's like, it looks like the Bill of Rights commemorative, but it's just an ounce of silver. Pursuit of happiness. What are you doing? She's up here like, scratching on the arm. Scratching on the arm of my chair. See, these ones kind of look like seated. Well, that one looks like a seated coin. Mercury dime. Dawn of a new millennium. It's the age of Aquarius. Aquarius. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but my dad's out there um, enclosing my porch. I mean, of course, these ones look like cents, man. 2009. 1987. 1987. One Troy ounce. Oh, that one's kind of cool. It kind of... Oh, yeah, that one depicts, like, one of the 2009 cents. Where they got, like, the formative years and stuff. But it just made sense to put them together. Even though one of them's more modern than the other. And then I have... This one looks like a peace dollar. And then I have a few different Morgans. Few different Morgans. Let's see if the backs are different. Oh yeah. Whoop. That one's a trade unit. Oh, they're both trade units. This one says one silver trade unit. Trade units. Trade units are like one of my faves. It's like I'm up in the air because I have like a whole trade. Ah, uh, <laughs> I have like a whole trade unit. Yeah, the cases that come with these, uh, these bins, <laughs> they don't like to stick together very well. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was kind of up in the air on whether to put these in with my trade units or to put them in with the ones that look like Morgans. And obviously you can see I put them in with the ones that look like Morgans. 
I got a giant pile of trade units here somewhere. And I'll get to that. But I wanted to at least finish the coin looking ones. Yeah, see, like these are pretty much mass produced like the ones they do today. That one's got a milky face. So I just try to get like all the different types. And I'm sure I have more modern ones like this somewhere. But I just like to get all the different designs. And they make a whole bunch of different designs. And then these ones kind of get mixed up a little bit. Because like some of them look like coins. But then the other ones are just like natives oh yep see look there's a trade unit oh that's pretty nice i like the back of that one but like i like to count i like the trade units that have like the scales on the back see these ones i feel like their heads are a little bit different but they're the same on the back this is a more modern one But I try to keep them together so I can, like, know for when I get the different, the different looking heads. Now here's some more native. Sitting bull. And see, like, this one looks like the gold, like a replica of the, of the gold coin. Golden statement. Kind of looks like a replica of the old gold. So it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard sorting your stuff. See, this one looks like one of the old gold dollars too. That one does. This one right here. Yeah, see, the other one actually looked like the old gold on the front and the back. And then this one doesn't look like it on the back. So the front looks kind of the same. Where'd it go? But the back is not the same. I lost it already. All right, here it is. See, the front's pretty much the same, 1929. But then the back, this one actually looks like the old gold coin. And this one, they just put whatever they wanted on there. It says 31.1 grams. All right, I'm almost done. And these ones aren't necessarily looking like coins, but they all have like some kind of eagle on it. 1981 U.S. assay, assay. And they got the freedom round. And then this one, I like this one. Desert Storm. Yeah, that's a year I graduated high school. I just like the way that it looks. It looks pretty sweet. Panama City, Florida, Southeast Refining. So these are ones that just like kind of like look like eagles. Fly like an eagle to the sea. So these are like 82, 86, 76. These ones are probably the same but different. <laughs> when I get toned ones, it's like I gotta have like a toned and a non-toned. But this one's more, this one's more proof-like. See, the finish is like proofy. It's mirroring, it's flashing you. And then this one is more like flat and mutt. Oh, it's different years too. They look similar. They're different years, but they're not the same. So that's good. That's a good enough differential for me to want to collect them. And here's the last ones. These ones kind of remind me of commemoratives. Spirit of 76. Oh, that's another Liberty Lobby. And it's like, oh my God, that one needs to go with the Liberty Lobbies, but it doesn't because it's something else. <laughs> and this is why I hate organizing stuff. Because like if stuff could go in two different places, it's like decisions, decisions. Do I want, which place do I want to put it? I want to think I'm going to show you my Johnson Matthew ones and then I'm going to show you my trade units and then I think I will be right about out of time. I think I have all these. I might be missing one, but the right to privacy. 
I don't know. How do you guys pronounce it? Do you say privacy or privacy? I don't know. Privacy sounds like more like correct in English. <laughs> I need my privacy. I know this is like a whole set. The right to counsel. That's all Johnson Matthews. They made those. The right to bear arms. Yeah, they all look the same on the back, so I'm not going to just keep flipping the back. Freedom of press. The right to vote. The freedom of speech. This one came in some like circle thing. They might have all came this way. I don't know. Freedom of assembly. Of ass Oh, that's assembly and assembly. Are those the same? I'll be darned, they are. I don't know how that happened. And then we got the freedom of religion. religion. Oh, and there's a desert storm. Another desert storm one. Ah, oh, that one should go with my other desert storm. What to do, what to do. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have time to show every last one of them. And then for some reason, these got put in there. I mean, they're not. Like, pretty much all these are, like, non-monetary. These are the two ounces. Oh, I, I was collecting the five ounces. Then I was like, should I collect the two ounces? And then I just gave up. But I like these two. These two are my favorite of the Awakening series. The, my two favorite designs. I think they went a little bit cuckoo. And it just, the, the it didn't pique my interest anymore. Toast my devil! <laughs> Yankee Doodle Bugs. Looney Tunes. I just kind of like glanced over. Oh man. Those are trade units too. How did I get over there? Alright, I'm going to bring my, bring out the trade units. But they got to go together. Oh my goodness. That's why I, I just, I hate, I hate organizing stuff. I'll just put these two on the back. Now I lost it. Now I lost it. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. Did you guys see where it went? Alright, forget it. Forget about it. Alright, let's bring out the trade units. See, I like the ones that have the... The scales on the back. The different scales responsibility academy corp hey that's a more modern trade unit bring back the trade unit <laughs> world trade unit this one is the coin coin palace coin palace las vegas oh i almost thought that was a, like a y i was like las vegas new york I'm going to bring all my trade units over here. Let you see my trade unit. <laughs> I'm going to let you see it. This one's a world trade unit, but it doesn't have, it doesn't have the, the scales. World trade. World trade. Yeah, somebody was asking me just the other day, like, is there a difference between a trade unit and a world trade unit? So I don't know. So these are these are ones that look like coins. These are ones that look like coins. But they have like the trade unit thingy on back. Oh man, these are the ones that look like coins. These aren't the trade units. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. So those go in with those go in here with the ones that look like coins. All right. I already showed you those. Nope, maybe I didn't. The praying hands grab all they can. California Mint. So here's some trade unit ones. I already showed you those. Here's a ship. That's also a trade unit. And some of these, some of these look like coins. Like that one, you know, looks like the peace dollar. It says, I am a silver bull. Silver is strength and security. 
if I didn't love trade units so much, I would definitely send this to my little bro because he's a silver bull. But I can't do it. I can't part with it. It goes with my trade units. I've never seen one of these before. So, silver bull. I can't give it to you. I'll leave it you I'll leave it for you in my will because you're younger than I am. So I'll write in my will that the silver bull. Okay, this one says world trade. It doesn't have the what did that say? World trade and commerce. I thought it said like commie or something. 1974. So it's here. It's written on YouTube. When the squirrel lady passes away, you have to send the silver bull to my little silver bull brother in remembrance of me. Yeah, see, this one would go with the ones that look like coins, but it looks like a trade unit. I mean, it is a trade unit. Got some different bells. That one's already on the trade unit side. It's a bell. There's two. Freedom is a ring. And then there's like more, tra more trade units on the back. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, let's just show you. I'm just going to go through them. I'm going crazy. These ones look like Morgans, but they're trade units. Oh my God. It's like, I can't, I can't, I just cannot sort things because they belong in two different places. And I think I've been here long enough. I'm already starting to go cuckoo. I only showed you like half of my things because... It's just, it's too much stress. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys for joining me. If you liked it, give me a lucky lucky. And if you have something to say, comment right down there below me. And until next time, I will see you out there. Get squirreled. It's fun.